is Nigeria in crisis or am I just imagining things? Am I distorting things? Am I exaggerating things? Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Let me know in the comment section because I've been having these thoughts lately. I've been trying to rise above it. I've been trying to do things to, you know, put me in a more calmer state of mind, to not be bothered, to not be anxious, to not have, you know, this apprehension. But I really cannot push it down any further. As much as, you know, YouTube is a creative outlet for me, it is also an emotional outlet for me sometimes, okay? And right now, I just want to speak my mind and find out how many people can actually relate with what I have to say or actually are going through the same thing, okay? Because I don't know what's going on. The other day, I went to the supermarket to get some things and I was shocked, you guys. I was so shocked. And confused that I called my friend Nello while in the supermarket. I called her and I was like, babe, what's going on? Let me understand whether I'm just the one that you know is broke. <laughs> I'm not broke in Jesus' name. But I was like, let me understand though, maybe I'm just the one that is thinking like a poor person. Because the prices were outrageous, you guys. It was I was genuinely confused. Okay. I mean, I've been getting confused lately. Like, almost like a daily occurrence at this point. It's like anytime I go to the market to buy something, anytime I go to the grocery shop to get something, I'm always confused because I'm like, make it make sense. Prices are changing drastically. There's this milk. In fact, the one that made me you know, call her was there's this milk, there's this liquid milk that I usually buy for 350 400 and at that time i was buying it for 350 400 it was freaking expensive to me oh it was freaking expensive to me it was like this is a lot because i mean liquid milk then used to be like 50 naira 80 naira 100 naira i don't know maybe it was ages ago but i just feel like it wasn't that long ago that this same thing used to be 80 naira 100 naira 120 some came to 120 150 then this last time i went to the supermarket and this milk was 650 naira 650 naira if i did not draw the line at 350 then 650 naira definitely did it for me i was like if i drink 650 naira twice like who, who am i who am who i be okay <laughs> and yeah it's not like i mean one of my prayers is always that i'll be able to afford what i want no matter how expensive it wants to get my prayer is always that i'll be able to afford it okay however however i am not just here for myself I'm not just thinking about myself. I mean, it's not like if I had bought it, I would have died. But I was thinking of the average person. I was legit worried for the average person. It's not like I'm even above average like that. I'm actually, in fact, in Nigeria, I don't even know how to classify my family. I don't, I don't know how I should call ourselves middle class or even less than middle class because the way things are going, I don't know how many middle class we have left. You know, I don't know how many. We, we, yeah, I don't, I don't know how many we have left. So it was just confusing to me. I'm like, what is going on? Why are prices so expensive? And I mean, obviously, this whole inflation thing is happening everywhere in the world. It's not only in Nigeria, in case you did not know. It's not only in Nigeria. Prices of things are going up everywhere. We're complaining about the price of egg in Nigeria. Abroad, they're also complaining about the prices of egg. In fact, they have this running gag. There's this meme about, you know, show me a rich person without showing me a rich person. And then you see the person with like a crate of eggs or, you know, a basket of eggs and stuff like that, okay? So it's not a Nigerian thing. But I feel like because we import most of our things, it is now more obvious. It's more, it's more terrible in Nigeria because we import basically everything, okay? The chicken, the eggs in Nigeria are expensive because the chicken feed is expensive because they import the chicken feed, okay? And several other things too that, you know, is involved in the production of eggs and all that, okay? So many of those things are imported. So at this point, I don't even know that the chicken is so imported because it, it, it might as well be. It might as well be. So I keep asking myself, how does the average person in Nigeria eat? How does the average person in Nigeria survive? How does the average person in Nigeria do things, you know, without, without, without dying? Because it's, it's, it's a lot at this point. It's outrageous. Um, I went with Elizabeth to buy things because she, um, she's currently in catering school. Um, we'll talk about it in another video. She's currently in catering school. So she had a practical she wanted to do. And I just took her to the store to kind of, because they put some orishi rishi foreign things there. Parmesan cheese, um you know, white pepper, black pepper, uh, cooking cream, all those things that I, 
it's not in my <laughs> it's not in my my uh, what do you call it it's not in my uh, what do they call it? list of food stuff or whatever it's not it's not something i will even cook with in this house okay the most cheese i've ever gotten is the cream cheese or the sandwich cheeses all those you know square shaped cheeses but all these hard cheese that you have to grate i've never used them before okay so i was like okay let me take her to the store to go and get those things i went to the store first of all i didn't even see the parmesan cheese but when i even saw the prices of you know those kind of cheese i was like hey on top cheese is it by force to eat cheese is it by force to eat cheese even cooking cream cooking cream that used to be like one five three thousand like the big one three thousand the small one one five and even then it was quite expensive to me oh. cooking cream the cheapest we saw was six thousand five hundred the cheapest we saw was six five okay so i was just asking myself how exactly is the average i mean obviously the average man is not using cooking cream and you know parmesan cheese let's just call it spade spade the average person is not using that to cook even myself i know they isn't cooking and I, 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 yeah so i'm not even using those ones to even judge i'm using the price of regular items regular milk sugar you know salt pepper uh, detergents uh, washing soap all those things like uh, dish soap all those things like the normal day-to-day -day things the normal like in fact after that whole thing i decided that now I'm going to buy only the basics in the house okay because i mean when i go shopping both the um, money my husband gives me for the house and my own money everything is in my account so when i go shopping i don't have a cap okay i don't have budget you know only the cash <laughs> i don't have budget i just buy what i feel like we need in the house right i just i sometimes i use my eyes to to buy some things even though i have a list my list is very comprehensive everything did that list you know Everything we need in this house, include plus more, is on that list. So I just go by that list and I just buy and buy and buy. But now I'm going to have to reevaluate what we eat in this house, and we're going to stick to the basis. Okay, I want to do that for a few months until I'm able to, to you know, determine a baseline for how much we spend monthly. Okay, because if I go by how much we spend monthly at this time, how do I account for things like you know outings, things like fast food, eating out? Um, chips, junk food, all those kind of things. How do I account for them as our regular spending, okay? Because, I mean, we don't have to have those things. So, I just decided that I was only going to buy things that are necessary, okay? Now, what's necessary for me and not necessary for you, okay? Um, I have some things that I buy that are not necessarily, like, I can survive without them, but I don't want to survive without them, okay? Because what am I working for? What am I not working for if I don't want to buy those things that I like, okay? So, um, I have some unnecessary things in my list, or I have some things on my list that are not necessary for survival, but they have to be there. They are part of our necessities at this point, judging by where we've gotten to, you know, as a couple or as a family. So I decided that I was going to buy those basics, right? Basics for me. And the prices are outrageous, okay? You guys, the, it, it, the, 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 when I finished collecting the list, the amount was like, hey, this is somebody's salary. And that person, that, that somebody is not a pauper in the society. That, that's somebody's salary. That's what we spend as a family of seven because we are seven in this house. As a family of seven, that is what we are going to be spending monthly. Is that, are, are, you, are you joking? Are you kidding me? In fact, if I compare how much we spend right now as a family monthly, if I compare it to how much I was earning when I was working in the bank, if I was a single mom household, okay, if I, if, my, if, I was, if I didn't have a husband, if I was just, you know, the only person, you know, bringing in the bacon or whatever, maybe I was a single mom and stuff like that, I wouldn't be able to take care of a family of six, okay, I remove um, my husband now, I wouldn't be able to take care of, in fact, even now I can barely take care of a family of six based on what I'm earning from YouTube, like, is that bad, okay, so, I don't know whether it's only me, this thing is pinching or, but it's pinching me or, we're talking about, oh, get your PVC, get your PVC. I've been shouting about it, you know, for a long time. I never get my PVC because my PVC is nowhere to be found. Am I shouting? I think I'm shouting. Okay. My PVC is nowhere to be found, guys. Like, and it's not just me, yo. It's a couple of people. I know at least four people. In fact, I know at least five people because someone dared me to tell me that, you know, she hadn't gotten it. She had the same, she, she had the same problem that I had. You know, I registered for my PVC a long time ago. It's not, it's not this period. It was like when I was in school, that's when I registered for my PVC. So during this whole registration period, I had to just uh, re-register and change my polling and all of that. Okay. All right. So where's my, my um, PVC till date? It is nowhere to be found. Okay, and it's just, and this is, these five people I know now that is including me, these five people I know right now, is without me even searching for people that have not gotten their PVCO, without even searching, okay, I already know two people that I know I have not even, that not register at all, so the chances of them having PVC is even out of, out of it, okay, 
but the ones that registered that I have PV, that are supposed to have PVC, without even checking, I have five people now that haven't gotten their PVC. So how is Peter B supposed to win? Because that's the only candidate in my eyes. How is Peter B supposed to win if in my small circle I already know five people who don't have their PVC? You know, so at the end of the day, I'm like, are we in a crisis? Is it time? Is it is is the alarm like is is fire on the mountain? Let's not be here waiting for the fire to actually burn us before we now realize that oh, the fire was on the mountain, all this while the fire had been coming down to us. We need to really ask ourselves: Is the floor lava at this point? Should we start jumping up? Should we start flying? Should we start looking for alternatives? Should we start running away? Because, I mean, I told you guys, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Adeze, and I'm one of those people who don't want to leave this country, okay? Even though the chances are looking like it's pretty much what's, what's going to happen, okay? Um, judging by what's going right now. But I don't want to leave this country. But <laughs> if fire is on the mountain, my dear sisters and brothers, like, is it time? You know, I told you guys that when it's time, I might not tell you guys, so maybe after this video now, you people will see me. <laughs> people will see me doing grocery haul, shopping at Kruger's, I'll be what they call those places. <laughs> Shopping at Walmart. I'll be doing Walmart haul for you guys. And some people still have the effrontery to come online and talking about a uh, 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 Tinubu has track record. Are you okay? Are you? Does your brain have track record? Like, do you have track record of, of being a sane person? <laughs> of, of making sane decisions? Because which one is Tinubu has track record? Okay? So, if somebody has track record, if a person now has brain, brain problems, we should still put the person there because the person has track record. Because somebody has a track record of walking, if the person is now paralyzed, we should still we should still put the person in a hundred meters race because the person had track record of, of running hundred meters. Are you are you okay? Are you normal? So at the end of the day, I don't know what is even our problem in this country. I don't know which one we're having as a problem. Whether it is the crisis of inflation, bad government, or even bad people, senseless people. I don't know if that's our problem. Actually, that's basically our problem. I think it's senselessness because it's, it's what is trickling down into or what is you know basically showing itself in our government and you know every other thing economic decisions you know we're talking about oh there are new notes first of all new notes is poorly poorly made new notes but let's even keep that one aside oh yeah where's the new notes to use now they're giving everybody 20k per day be how much per day you can withdraw where is the new notes to use okay aside even the new notes to use they think we should we should no longer use the old notes and people have stopped collecting the old notes already the time to stop collecting has not yet reached you but people have already stopped collecting the old notes so there's actually no cash and still, many people in the market are not even don't even have POS. We're talking about it the other day. I was talking about it with Nelo the other day. How come you know people don't have POS? Even some people that you feel like, oh, I know this shop should have a POS. They don't have POS. So yeah, I just came here to talk about these things because uh, they are bothering me. They are, if it's not bothering you, then kudos to you. In fact, you you are you are doing so well, my dear sister. Come and teach me the way because it's actually bothering me. And it's not bothering me because I'm fearful for myself per se. I'm not really fearful for my for myself. I'm not even fearful for my children per se. I know. Are going to be fine i know that you know god willing again like i said i'm always going to be able to afford what i want what i need what i desire i'm going to be able to afford it um i'm working hard okay it's not just about oh the prayer part and you know god is with me and all of that or confessions part i'm actually working hard towards it okay i'm trying to show up more on my youtube channel i'm trying to do more things my um, new series is coming up yeah i have a new series coming up it's called reality check with a um i'm just interviewing people talking with people it's like a video podcast okay talking with people interviewing people your faves are going to be there as well okay 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 but anyway just having these real conversations and that's why i call it reality check i want to have real conversations with real people about real issues affecting real lives so anyway that's just it though. that's just all i came to talk to you guys about let me know in the comment section if you are seeing what I'm seeing, though, because <laughs> I feel like there's fire on the mountain. No, I'm not here to be an alarmist. I'm not here to be, you know, um, negative or whatever. But I just feel like we should be more mindful of these things. Not just because you and your family are comfortable. You now feel like eh, whatever happens happens. No, think of other families. Think of other people. Think of people around you. Yes, my family were comfortable. Okay, my friends, uncle. My relatives, unko, in fact, friends are even different. I mean, most of my friends are, are okay as well. But relatives, unko, how many of your relatives can afford to eat three square meals a, a day or even two square meals? Or even two, even one, like, healthy meal? How many of, how many of your, your, your family members can afford it? How many of your friends can afford it? How many of your neighbors can afford it? So these are the things that you need to consider because it will affect you whether you like it or not. If you like, build a mansion on the hill, okay? Make it inaccessible to the common man. Make it, in fact, let's, let's the only way to land on your property be through 
helicopter. That poverty that is in the land is going to find a way to come and haunt you wherever you are. Okay? Let it be that it's only through private jet that you get to your property. Don't worry. You are, you are not immune. Don't think you are immune. It's not you're going to turn your property and die. You're not going to mix with the outside world. You are not immune. So, let us just... Um, I, I guess my, my, my reason for making this video is let us discuss more in the comment section. Let's know if this thing is really widespread. How are you guys mitigating it? What are you guys doing? How are you guys doing your finances? How are you coping? Have you had to cut down on things? Because me, I've had to cut down. I've had to cut down. This one is not even, it's not even a thing of, of pride or whatever or shame. I've had to cut down on some things. I've had to even work harder. Like these past few months, I have been grinding really hard. And even at that, you know the show. <laughs> Story for another day. You know the show. YouTube is not what people used to think. It's, it, YouTube right now is not what it used to be. Yo. You know, I mean, I'm praying for a better outcome. I know that, you know, with time, things are going to get better for me. And I'm working hard towards it. But at the same time, based on what's happening right now, everywhere they read, though. So, if you don't have your PVC, if you've not yet made up your mind to vote for Peter B, and I'm going to only mention Peter B because to me, he's the only candidate that we have. There was a Ghanaian pastor that said, if we had sense in this country, there will be no elections. We'll just go and pick Peter B and put it there. And that, as it should be. Okay, but let's just do for the sake of democracy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> anyway, maybe I'm just going through something today. Maybe it's hormonal. Maybe by, I wake up in the morning and I'll be like, what is it? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's partly hormonal that's worrying me, but I'm, I'm worried. Yeah, that's, that's the bottom line. I'm actually worried, not for myself, like I said, but for those that watch me, those that are close to me, my family members, my kids. It, to an extent, because I mean, they are the ones growing up in the society that we have right now. Um, I'm just worried for people. Um, yeah, that's it.